membuat MC Super Eye, the television program that brings the searchlight on the use of the society and of course the good. I'm a dedicated way a Jiboy. A legal state is a mega city and it is the commercial center of Nigeria. Lagos State is also known as uh, the state of aquatic splendor. Lagos as a mega city has mega challenges and you will agree with me and that is because its population continues to rise on a daily basis and the reason is not far-fetched. A lot of Nigerians want to be in Lagos as a commercial nerve center. You know what that means. Everybody wants to make money. <laughs> the same way a lot of Nigerians today were to travel abroad because of the search of greener pasture. Because of all the believe that if they are abroad, they would have a better life. And that is how Lagos is seen amongst the Tennessee states of the Federation. Now because a Lagos is a mega city, um, it behoves or it has become a demand and the government to be a proficient, efficient and also be solution driven. Uh, one major of challenge that continues to face the state, uh, which baffles a lot of Lagos residents today, is a traffic grid lock. Traffic gridlock is a major concern and worry to you and I. You, there's no way you want to walk in Lagos and say that uh, between social time, you just can't time yourself because you don't know what you're going to be uh, facing. I've had to discuss with uh, friends and associates uh, away from Nigeria, made abroad, who would say even if they are going to be offered uh, millions of naira, they wouldn't uh, come down here. And one reason they gave is still traffic uh, grid lock. Now, in finding a solution to the uh, to traffic grid lock in Lagos State, the Lagos State government in 2000, precisely July 15, established a Lagos State a transport, um, a Lagos State uh, Transport uh, Management Authority, which is last month. And now, before that time, we know how Lagos works. And for so many, the field that last month has done a more of good than a bad. Because um, some people who also are in the habit of flouting rules and regulations uh, would say uh, last month remains their dreaded uh, a demon or you say enemy. <laughs> and so today, in looking at traffic control and management, in Lagos State, I have with me the Assistant uh, Director of LASTMA in person of Mr. Olumide Filade. Mr. Olumide Filade, you're welcome to Super Eye. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right. So yeah. Beautiful. And thanks for coming on Super Eye. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, uh, I must say that indeed LASTMA has um, a being of help. Uh, than, uh, let me say, the bad that some people would want to say. And the reason is not far fetched. Uh, in most cases, I remember something happened uh, recently where in particular a bus driver uh, had to defecate in his hand and then he used that to rob a, a one of your officials on the face. And, um, in fact, more than the, one. I, I don't even know, more than one, more than one. Like three or two of yeah. them. Yeah. And um, I don't even know how that case uh, is and now, or whether the authority or the law has um, you know, taken its toll on, uh, on the very uh, driver or not. So, Mr. Filadi, to tell us uh, last time, basically, you know, a super eye uh, is a program that brings such life of the ease and also the good of the society. So, tell us about last month for the benefit of those who don't really know. Yeah, um, good morning, Lagos. Um, before I tell you about LASMA, I just want to add to your intro. Um, Lagos is an emerging smart city. Um, True. Yeah. Then um, it's the sixth um, economy in Africa. So if Lagos had been um, a country on its own, it would have been um, the sixth most um, developed um, economy in Africa. Now, prior to the setting up of um, LASMA, July 15th, 2000, Lagos was known 
for traffic gridlock, intractable traffic gridlock. And um, it seems um, the governor then, Ashwaju Bala Metinumbu, um, thought it fit that um, for Lagos, you know, to develop and move forward, that um, we should create um, um, a traffic um, management um, authority that would also help in assisting the um, other traffic management um, officers that we have on ground then, which were grossly inadequate. So that was the reason why he created LASMA um, July 15, 2000. And um, eventually there was a law, you know, setting up LASMA in, um, you know, that time, which had been um, reviewed 2018. It's known as the Lagos uh, Transport Sector Reform Law of 2018. And um, over time, you know, LASMA has um, evolved and then um, put some strategies in place to help um, in um, the management of traffic in Lagos State. And um, we will continue to do that. You know, as a mega city, it is absolutely impossible not to have traffic, not even with the volume of um, vehicles that we have on Lagos roads with um, the um, limited um, land um, size, yeah you know and it so happens that Lagos state has the most um, um connectivity of roads you know all over so you can easily you know move from one place if you have um, um traffic there you know to go and take another route you know to make sure that your journey is shortened Okay, uh, Mr. Filadi, um, you know, I was saying something earlier, the, yes. particular, um, the, the particular driver uh, that there was this conference. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Actually, that issue happened um, March 30 this year. Was it March 30? Yeah, it was March 30. Okay. And um, we had to let him go because of the public nuisance it was... He made of, he created of himself, but eventually he was apprehended this July 4th. Okay. He was immediately, you know, taken to the court, was immediately arraigned, and presently he's um, at um, the Botoki Correctional Center um, until August when his case will come up again, you know. So what I want to tell Lagosians, is the long arm of the law will eventually catch up with you and you'll be made to face the consequences of your actions. So it is better that we comply with the law. In fact, that is what LASMA is even advocating for now, voluntary compliance. You know, when we have voluntary compliance, there will be orderliness. We will not have this issue of, um, you know, um, voluntary compliance also involves you maintaining your vehicle adequately so that it can travel from point A to the point B that you are going and back to your point A. Because when you have uh, breakdowns on the road, it also causes a lot of traffic and we have to move these vehicles and it's going to be at a cost. So don't think it's going to be moved freely for you because the owners, the responsibility right, lies on you that you should be the one to maintain your vehicle so that you will not be an Most obstruction is to all the road users. Okay, okay. Now, um, for the benefit of um, Lagos residents, of course, there's also to enlighten yeah. our viewers. Yeah. Uh, what are the core areas uh, in which Alaska is expected to work? We're, we are expected to work all over Lagos State. But over time, we have um, researched, we have studied, and so we have mapped out um, particular areas where traffic and um, gridlock, you know, develops from. So we call those places choke points. So those are the places where we put our officers. Um, we are just about um, 4,000 strong, the whole of last mine in Lagos. Yes, there's no way 
we will have you know all the roads in lagos will be manned so that's why we um have settled for major roads you know all over lagos state up to ekpe badagri you know he could do name it and um we cannot just put an officer there because of some of our experiences so sometimes we have two three four officers depending on how critical you know that choke point is okay 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 let me start with because um, i have other concerns and i'm sure uh the our viewers or Lagos residents also have the same uh concerns can you let us into some of the challenges uh, that you face when your officers are uh, faced on a daily basis good uh it's um, not faced by officers alone. Let me generalize it. There are some incorrigible um, road users because road users also include pedestrians. Of course. When a pedestrian, where he wants to cross the road, there is a pedestrian bridge. I do not want to cross right underneath that pedestrian bridge. Do you ex I mean, I mean, you can you can expect what could happen. The person could be knocked down by a vehicle. Um, your motive where you want to go to will be made no sense of. If you are not diseased, you'll be made an invalid. Um, you will now start depending on others, you know, for your livelihood, for your living, and that puts a lot of pressure even on government hospital facilities not to talk of the um, vehicle that knocked you down the vehicle owner may be first to be the one that would bear your initial medical cost for what he did not plan for you know it's it's a whole commute of um, um, disadvantages so when we don't use the knowledge to last month really. yes um, some of the major challenges is disobedience to the traffic law okay. which um we are you know uh, to enforce assault on our officers from time to time but you know uh, even though i don't um, normally i'm not supposed to be on the road but um, the few times that I've um, stopped by to help in managing traffic, when there's a yes, yes, what I just do is um, put on my um, reflective jacket that um, last month is written on and everything, and I help to decongest. <laughs> no, that's how it's supposed to be. I just can't um, pass by knowing what is happening uh, that and actually passionate about your job definitely that, well uh, no uh, i think we should do away with that that's part yeah. of you know um, um um challenges we face from this big manism mm -hmm. you know you want to be given priority but you will not leave you know um wherever you are to where you want to go on time factoring in all kinds of emergencies that could be accidents on your on the way man that might delay man you know that kind of so you just factor everything like coming for this program i had to take off from where i was Only enough, I thank you factoring in so many things and i got there quite early i i, I, I yes and i'm just, even happy that um, i was able to relax before coming on I can take Okay, let's look at some of the um, complaints of um, residents. Um, a lot of people feel that. In fact, I was speaking with someone who said that he described it in local parlance. He said, "Ah, when, when, in fact, it was when he saw your uh, your invites, you know, yeah. on my that you will be on the program today. Yeah. That the person called and said, "Ah, last month he 
or something. There's a way he said, which is that Lasma officials are not smiling. And that the word he uses that Lasma are wicked uh, traffic management officers. How would you react to this? Good. Um, let me put it this way. We all exist in the same society. We know the next person's attitude when it comes to obeying the law. And there is this saying that the fear of Lasma is the, the beginning, beginning of, of wisdom. Wisdom and obeying traffic rules and regulations. We're used to pleading whenever, whenever we go against the law. And once we see that somebody has been able to plead and escape, you know, the wrath of the law, we seem to adopt what is not right. How many people will last my personnel listen to their pleas? Who would even go on? They would just assume that once I plead with them, they will, let me, they will let me go. We need to have a, an orderly society. We cannot afford for Lagos to be chaotic. On a daily basis, people come into Lagos wanting to make a living because they believe Lagos is a land of... Yes. So, what about those who obey the law? When they see that those who are disobeying the law are being allowed to go scot-free after pleading, yeah, will they be happy? Honest. Exactly. They will be discouraged. They will say, so why am I keeping within the ambit of the law? And actually apprehending um, traffic um, law violators is to let them know that there are consequences for their actions so that they will not want to repeat it but anyway we have some recalcitrant um, road users no matter how many times you know that you apprehend them they will still keep going back then one other thing in law there is no ignorance so before you obtain your driver's license, you're supposed to have the highway code by heart. It isn't after you've obtained your license that anybody should now start be explaining to you that um, this and this and this. Unfortunately, another thing that we don't do most, most times is observing the um, traffic signs. We don't even watch out. We don't even look at them. We are not, we not deliberately, deliberately let it out. out, yes. All right, okay, I'll hold you on that. Well, viewers, uh, this is Super Arif Coulson. I've been just Coulson with the Assistant Director of LASTMA on a road uh, management, traffic management in Lagos State. Um, I will be going on a break now, and uh, the foot lines will be open for you to have a say, whatever your concerns are, this is an opportunity for you to bring it on and for Mr. F uh, Mr. Uh, Filadi yes. to react to them. But let's quickly take a break now and Super Eye will be right back. Welcome back. The program is so super high, and we're looking at uh, legal state traffic management and control. And discussing this with me is the assistant director of last month, of course, a legal state. So, Mr. Afiladi, uh, earlier we were talking about um, uh, some of um, well, what would what rant, um road users um, not to comply with the rules and regulations. Of, of traffic in the state. Now I want to know, and I'm sure a lot of people also want to know, what are the basic areas uh, or basic area that LASMA is expected to cover 
Of course, we know that of police. Which, what exactly does LASMA stand for? Good. LASMA in Lagos stands for um, Road Traffic Management, Control, and Enforcement of the Traffic Law, basically. There's no way you can um, manage traffic without enforcing. It would be like um, you, you know, being in a theater, you know, just um, playing around if you don't enforce. Because what some of the people understand is enforcement. It makes them, you know, to be on their toes. And um, but one thing I want to assure you, with the present um, general manager, Mr. Balaji Oriagba of LASMA, we now enforce with civility. If you notice the um, negative um, narrative has dwindled since he took over okay. as the general manager. We've been training and retraining our officers. In fact, some are still in retraining currently at the Law Enforcement um, Training Institute. Okay, permits me to say that. Um, in fact, uh, um, at the formation of last month, then, I yeah. even had a confrontation with some of the last month officials there. And I remember okay. it was um, uh, oh, Kairi Okwaifa, that was the uh, okay, the SA. Okay. Then. Yeah. And a lot of people always come around to tell me about the activities of last month, how they collect money from them, and all of that. So I told myself, I said, one of these days I'll go out to do an investigative reporting on last month myself. Now, unfortunately for last month, unfortunately for them, I was driving, I wasn't even going somewhere else. And I'm going out, I'm told him precisely the driver. I just saw the commercial bus driver and the last month official dragging the uh, steering with the commercial bus driver and so the conductor of that particular bus also you know joined in the fight of course to free his bus so that they can escape and what happened eventually was we were able to drag the last month official on the floor and um, eventually he drove on the covert and they zoomed off now, citing that, I told my cameraman, I said, get down and get me that really shot. And we took all of that, we had that. The next thing was, the last official pounced on my cameraman and tore his trouser. And that's an assault, you know. And the next thing was, I, I didn't even take that for a joke. I started my report from there. And then I remember I had a strong um, confrontation with Tokwefa, but eventually it was all, you know, uh, quelled because it now made us to understand that training and retraining is what we get them to do, you know, they are just starting and all that. We need to understand that they're also from the society, which I also want to um, agree with them because I'm of the belief that every challenge or problem we have in Nigeria starts from the families, you know, because it depends on the kind of training that they have. The people who have an authority today is still partly because of how our parents have raised them. So now, the question is, you just talked about advanced um, a way of making arrests. Now, see what happened on that March 30th, yeah. where that uh, driver, I remember in that video, the driver was saying, you are going to see what I'm going to do. Leave me alone, let me go. Why was it difficult for last man on that very point to allow him go and then let's, then, then, I mean, use the advanced uh, way to make the arrest? Um, it's so unfortunate the kind of society we have. Don't be surprised that some of these um, buses, yellow buses, um, you cannot trace their addresses. See, that's another challenge for Nigeria. Even the drivers. So talking about the advanced way of apprehending, we don't arrest. We only apprehend the vehicle. Then let me quickly correct an impression. At the point of engagement of a traffic violator, 
the officer is supposed to dispossess the driver of the vehicle, yeah, the offender, of that vehicle at that point. And he has two options of getting the vehicle across to, you know, the yard. Either he uses a towing vehicle okay. or he drives it. But in case if he wants to use a towing vehicle and he looks at the traffic in that area and is so it is better it is driven. That is why we are advocating voluntary compliance. When you know you have violated, most of the drivers know they violated. But you know the normal eco shakara, let me use that word. That okay, maybe if I use balance, balance yes, okay. I no agree. Um, let me um, be the first one to attack. Maybe the person will let go. And you know, there are also complaints too that we are the owners of these yellow buses, that we don't arrest them. Immediate, we may not arrest immediately because the safety of our officers also is of paramount importance. Look at what he did that day. I told you earlier we had to let him go. But July 4th, we eventually, when at, you know, auspicious, you know, occasion that he could not resist, he was apprehended. Immediately taken to court. Is that Botuki Correctional Center now? Cooling his ears. But don't you think that kind of an individual might have a, a level of mental uh, disabilities? That's so, why when we apprehend them, um, um, because drivers. Because he's to, to, to naked himself, I mean, to the point of, of, come on. That's why we we sometimes send them to um, the um, Lagos State um, Drivers um, Institute for a training and for psychological evaluation. Sorry. But. Let's be factual too. So many people drive in Lagos without driver's license. Okay, there's also this, please viewers, the number for you to call to have your say on the program is on the screen. I mean, it will be on the screen right now. You can call to have a say. Okay, now back to our discussion. Um, there's also this belief that, um, you know, when Lasma um, arrests some of these motorists, uh, the demand, the money, the demand from, from them is too high. Well, uh, okay, just respond to that first. Okay, we are not the one who determines the fine. The fine has been predetermined. For each offense, there is a, you know, a prerequisite fine for each offense. So it is not last month that determines. It's in the law. But there are also times where, okay, somebody part of the um, somebody sent me a message on uh, what Lasma, an official of Lasma, did to her. She said um, they stopped her, asked for a driver's license. It was um, uh, okay. They asked for a jack. It was okay. They asked for road wilderness and all that. And eventually, they saw there was nothing for them to, um, you know use and arresting her or something but at the end of the day they say insisted on milking her basically negotiations let me categorically tell you we will not no last more officer will stop you to check your vehicle particulars without okay. you committing an offense no last more officer will do that. You must have committed an offense. It is at the point of, you know, apprehending Hello. your vehicle. Hello. Good afternoon. You're welcome to Super Eye. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Please ride on. What's your name and where are you calling from? Yes. My name is Michael. I'm calling from the Dumata area. Okay. Michael, yeah. welcome to Super Eye. I would like to ask Mr. Philadelphia a question, please. Yeah. Good morning, Mike. Do you have any means like um, corrupting offenders, or is it just arrest all alone? Because um, 
I, I, I think the territory where last month is a correct offender sometimes is you know, looking for who to arrest at every point in time. You should have a correctional, like a correctional program. Yeah, it's not putting the seatbelt. You know, people, people face a lot of challenges. You know, and when I want to drive sometimes, I don't put on the seatbelt. So, arrest him. I don't tell him this is this was supposed to be done instead of arresting. So, and also, yeah, if people, people don't really look traffic rules sometimes. So, it has to be like an immediate educate people on um, things to do instead of arresting always. Good. Um, Thank Michael. you. All right. Thank you so much, Michael. Um, Michael, if I may answer you, we do educate people and we do allow them but it depends on your manner of approach you cannot have violated the traffic law and i stop you and your manner of approach is to attack me first and you now start pleading later when you see that exactly but your manner of approach i mean determines a lot of things it is not everything that we arrest for Michael, I can assure you, it is not everything we arrest for. Uh, and also, uh, let me add um, to, to what Michael has said, you know, talking about enlightenment. Yeah. Uh, the public. Uh, yeah. Truly, some people also feel that, uh, in fact, they, they have been situations where they say, last month officials were hired. They know that uh, basically the person is not supposed to turn there and there's no sign on the road. There are areas like that, and um, they say eventually they will wait for the person to do the wrong thing. And you, 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 the essence of being there is to ensure that um, you, that you uh, uh, ensure there is free flow of traffic. So why allow the person to commit the offense just because you want to arrest that person? No. You know, I mentioned some, something earlier about um, not observing the road signs. Okay. not um, watching out for them let me use one area for an example um, Yaba coming from Jibo to fly the bridge to Yaba mm -hmm. you know there's a construction going on you know in front there so sometimes it um, causes um, traffic um, gridlock so when people descend that um, Jibo um, bridge towards Yaba and they see traffic in front. They make a U-turn to the left. And meanwhile, right there by that bridge where they're making the U-turn, there's a no U-turn sign there. You know, when people deliberately flout the law, they start looking for excuses. Most times they will show you that is the sign. Do you know, uh, another argument that they usually put up is uh, others are doing it. Of course, we have limited number of hands. It is not everybody that can be apprehended. But those that we apprehended, I mean that we apprehend, are supposed to be, you know, example mm, to escape others, the escape the goals, exact deterrent to others. You know, and. Um, like I said earlier, we enforce now with civility, depending on your approach. But of course, you know that Lagos residents, I don't know, I think it's just something about that. We need to, we need to develop Hello? the right attitude. Yes, yeah. um, uh, Hello, good morning. Good morning, what's your name, where are you calling? Yeah, this is Peter, I'm calling from Idumago. From where? I want to ask Mr. Philadelphia a question. Okay. Uh, do you have a means where you organize seminars and conferences to teach people about road signs and road, no U turn, all those things? It should be done over and over again. Uh, so people can understand road signs and things. Which is uh, because it is not everybody that knows those road signs and all that. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. You can listen in. Like I mentioned earlier, before you obtain your driver's license, you're supposed to have the highway code by heart, where the road signs and everything, you know, you will have read about them. If you go to a proper driving school, they will have taught you all these things. See, we are to manage traffic on the road. Another thing that I need to mention, we have the Enlightenment edu and Education Units. 
in Lasma, where we go to motor parks. Um, only lately that um, you know there is this noise pollution law, so we don't want to flout that law. Usually, we put our advocacy bus on the road with um, speakers mounted, okay, and I've never seen that before. <laughs> it has been happening before, but we had to, you know, because of so that yes, because of the noise pollution no, law, okay. you know, we cannot um, be seen to be flouting the law. But we still go to motor parks, you know, to go and enlighten and educate them. We have this school's um, advocacy uh, safety program where we believe that when we catch them young, even these children can correct their parents while they are in the vehicle with their parents when their, dri their parents are driving along, you know, it, and they will have imbibed that thing, you know, right from... And, um, well, I'll put it straight to you. Um, yeah. Mr. Fuladeri, that uh, last month as an agency is making a lot of money, and you can you will all oh, you will agree with that fact. Now, why has it been pretty difficult for last month to, uh, you know, like the enlightenment campaign is talking about? You can have a kind of television program or radio program. I don't know if that exists, and if it doesn't exist, I was going. It's high time. I was going to. I was going to. Yeah. I was going to come to that. Um, we have some pro uh, radio programs. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. You know, television may not be that impactful. You know the reason because why? Exactly. But not all road users also use the uh, radio like that. Good. Okay. And um, we're also on social media. Okay. You know, we're on um, Facebook, we're on YouTube, we're on. Um, 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 all, the social media all the social media platforms where we send forth messages, enlightenment messages, you know, um, our advocacy campaigns on a regular basis, on a daily basis. In fact, um, I was at um, a retreat where one of the facilitators said, out of all the Lagos State. Um, um, agencies, um, <laughs> social media sites. Hello. Hello. You're welcome to Super Iron today. Where are you calling from? Yeah, I am Adewale from Bagada. From Bagada. Okay, Adewale. Yes. Um, Mr. Filadi. Yes, please. Yeah, you guys are doing well. Thank uh, you. But, but I have a question. Okay. And the question is, um, Introduction of uh, the traffic management solution. Okay. Uh, how has it been uh, with um, that is the real time picture evidence of traffic law violations? Okay. Uh, how has it really helped last mine in Lagos? Okay. Um, okay. Yes, Mr. Diwali. <laughs> it's not only the TMS, the traffic management uh, solution alone. We also have the body camera. We have the um, um, the mounted um, stationary cameras. I'm sure Adewale, you will, one or two of your acquaintances must have mentioned to you that um, they got, you know, um, a, a, a a message of violation of their vehicle, you know, and that they are supposed to go. And, after the offense, you know, and um, so it's working. But the only challenge is um, those devices are still limited. Um, it's not, um, um, we still have, uh, they are still limited, the devices are still limited. So, but where we have them, we are using them effectively. Because when those devices capture, it goes directly to the control room where it is processed. Some of those um, capturings, you know, are even discarded. Once it cannot be proven in court, yes, if it cannot be conclusive, conclusively proven, we discard them. Okay, Mr. Fulade, um, you're still watching Super Eye. We will take another short break here. And when we return, Mr. Fulade will still be in the studio uh, to answer to some
of our consent. Stay with us. Well, so glad to have you back. The program is still super high and we've been discussing uh, traffic management in a legal state with a last uh, official. And this is the assistant director of uh, last uh, Mr. Afilade. He's been with us and he's still here. Uh, so now, Mr. Afilade, um, the question now is, um, of course, uh, last is doing a good job. Uh, like I said, and I want to know, um, there's this, um, uh, the, looking at all of your activities and what you have done uh, over here. So, uh, I'm satisfied. Okay, I have a call. Hello? Hello. You're welcome to Super I. What's the name and where are you calling from? Super I, thank you. My name is Adamu. Adamu. Yes, it is Saturday. It's not official that the uh, other enforcement agents have the power to arrest individuals who suspect of committing road offense. The Western law also have the power to detention. I didn't get that. Come again, please. The Western law has the power to detain offenders or just arrest and hand over to police. Okay, okay. I think Adamu, right? Adamu is calling from where? I'm calling from Sabo. Okay. Adamu. I'm calling from Sabo. Oh, Sabo is calling Sabo Biafra. Sabo Biafra. Okay. Thank you so much, Adamu. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't really get his, um, but if I get his um, question right, I think he was asking if we have the right to apprehend. Do you have the right to? prosecuted now after that do you even have a right to arrest that are you not supposed to hand over the case to the police um that's why you're giving a referral to court when if it has to do with the um, issue of assault on our officers mm -hmm. of course it's the police that handles that's the the nice. person we don't arrest individuals we apprehend vehicles let's get that straight that's true because but where you have you know assaulted our officers and everything the police takes over from there so on the issue of um i think he mentioned about um, apprehending um ambulances and uh, yes, I like and yeah, police like of that. course we have the authority to do that nobody is above the law if an ambulance is not with an emergency patient and the ambulance plies the um, BLT corridor, why won't we arrest the ambulance? But if the ambulance is with an emergency patient... Ah, because we need that clarity, really. And it plies... Of course, the officer that stops the ambulance, once he sees that ah, there's a... A, 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 a patient, you know, it will let them go. yes, so which means some of these uh, ambulances also take advantage of necessary, yes, because um, I was um, at one of our programs, and um, like I said, we have radio programs. In fact, there is a particular weekly radio program, I will not mention the um, radio station, no, you know, you if you do, I'm going to charge you, yeah, I know, <laughs> you know, that we have. A program, Lasma Connect, every Tuesday, 10 15 to 11. Okay. You know, in this program, we, we, we enlighten, you know, we educate, we also answer to their concerns. And I can tell you, if you have any concern that is bothering you, get across to us at the last mile headquarters, and I can assure you that you will get redress that will satisfy you and um, the management does not condone um, discipline. discipline we don't okay.
Okay, uh, because of time, uh, quickly, um, Mr. Fladi, last March or the two, no doubt, uh, the agency has gone through moments of ups and downs. Down. Yeah. And it's over two decades of existence, of yeah. the great. Yeah. Uh, the journey so far has not been without uh, vicissitudes of life, attacks, like we have discussed uh, here. Yeah, yeah. Um, the question now is, can we really say that uh, last March, has been able to fulfill the reason for his uh, for its um, um um that was the word for its formation um to me yes we have been let me just Shut use up. a quick example um look at the period of um, the 2020 yes. october Hashtag issue if you notice People went on the social media to say they are not engaging the last ma. The last ma should come back when Lagos became chaotic. I just that is just one example. Let's rest with that. To show that you are working, Lagos is working and last ma is on its feet, delivering on um, the purpose of AIDS for formation. Yeah. All right. Before we go, uh, of course, I still have time. Um, what would be your words now to road users who are always in the habit of, um, of flouting uh, rules and regulations of traffic in the state? Like I said earlier, we're only pleading that road users should voluntarily comply with the traffic law on the use of roads. Also, um, the um, Hawkers, the traders, they do a lot of harm too. Because when a, a trader puts his or her wares on the sidewalk, you force the pedestrian to go on the road. The driver is forced to slow down so that he does not knock down the pedestrian that is walking by the side of the road. You know, traffic builds back. And let us just, excuse me, let us just be orderly. Let us obey all the laws. Because, I mean, I promulgated all these laws so that there can be law and order. I mean, so there can be order and um, um, sanity in the society. We cannot afford to have a. See, if we have a chaotic environment, there's no way the development can, you know, go ahead. There's no way we will be able to realize the opportunity that we came for in Lagos. There's no way, you know, development will move ahead. Please, let us all be law-abiding citizens so that we can have a greater Lagos that everybody will be proud of. Right, and talking about a greater Lagos that everybody will be proud of, uh, what about the pedestrians too? And let me also ask, in the case of your officers, that also, because I've been in a commercial bus before, and um, the last two officials stopped a particular um, commercial bus, uh, a bus, and the next thing that echoed, uh, you know, from the mouth of the passengers was mm, last month. That's how they do. They want to take money. They want to take money. So, 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 in a situation like that, um, um, what's, what's, um, how would you change the irritation of people in that regards? Um, Latif Jakondi to um, um, in Agadingbi to. Um, so the Baga Ogba Road, okay. you know, I was driving one day. I was on the right lane wanting to turn towards Baga. There is this Korokwe on the left lane. And those who are on the left lane are meant to go and go towards Ogba. Unfortunately, he tried forcing his way in and caught my side mirror on my own side my private vehicle. If it had been my official vehicle, of course, she will comply. Mm. 
He didn't know the kind of. Just saying you, you know. So I had to stop in front, call the officer at the Omoli, one of the officers at the Omoli Junction, to get him apprehended. It could have caused a much more serious accident. In radios, in, you know, there's this jingle, maintain your lane, maintain your lane. They are not just telling you to maintain your lane for maintaining sake. <laughs> it's to prevent accidents on towards happenings. Anyway, to cut long story short, I would have, I mean, a passenger in the bus, a lady who probably doesn't even know I won't call her a lady because she didn't behave like a lady. Okay. She started okay. abusing me that I'm using my powers unnecessarily. Mm -hmm. Abuse of office. <laughs> Is that fair? The I males that were... In, I, I eventually let the driver go. If I, if I was going to act on the lady's words, I will apprehend because he endangered my life. Then he changed, he was trying to change lane wrongly. He wasn't on the lane he was supposed to be. Okay, um, away from that now, um, of course, a lot of um, Lagos residents have one complaint to the other. Uh, can you tell us uh, the right channel in which they can make their concerns and worries known to last month? Um, quickly, I don't know if I can okay, access, um, but let me, you can complain to the um, provost, the last month provost is at the head office. You can write into the GM you know, LASMA, you know, with your evidences. Is there not a number for them to be able to channel this course? Okay, let me give you my own number. Okay. Because if you do call my number, you know, you will get redressed. Then I can even direct you to the right um, channel. My um, number. I hope we're, I hope we're ready. We're ready, yeah. Lagos residents, are you ready? Are you ready for him? Okay, please. Right, sir. 081-2992-85-815-181-081-2992-85-815. Let me give you the provost term um, number two. Okay, the provost number. Right? Yes. Okay, please write on. 081 081 Two nine nine two eight four eight four nine zero. Zero. Let me repeat okay, that. Um, zero eight one two nine nine two eight four nine zero. Yeah. We have some other. You, you, you can also get across to us um, through our social media channels, platforms. platforms you know, um, Facebook. Um, Ecolasma, um, um, so also with um, the Twitter and the um, Instagram, you know. On our Instagram, we put up a lot of um, graphics, you know, to educate people, okay. you know. Okay, um, mm -hmm. let me say this before, before we round up. I hope when they call, you will pick the calls because that's also a challenge. You might have somebody's number and then you have to call and call and they wouldn't they wouldn't respond. You can see that I came into the studio even with the As phone. <laughs> I I you, although it's in silence but yes. when you call it will record it. So, so I can back. Oh, that would be nice. All right, all viewers. I think uh, we have to let you go. Um, thanks for coming on Super Eye. Thank you for uh, having viewers. me. I've been speaking with the Assistant Director of Public Affairs, uh, Public Affairs uh, last month. And of course, I hope that we've been able to do justice to the topic of the day. And I think one good thing is, is been able to give us uh, two numbers in which you can direct your complaints. And I hope that as Lagos resident, you would make good use of this.
I mean, the advocacy should be uh, for us to have a greater Lagos uh, that is uh, where we can experience the flow of traffic on our roads. Well, I'm a dedicated way at Ajiboye, and that is how we will drop the curtain in this week's edition of Super Eye. Many thanks for watching, and it's bye for now.